What makes a perfect day turn into a nightmare? The 1967 Lake Erie skydiving disaster awaits your judgment. On a bright summer day in 1967, the skies above Lake Erie were filled with a vibrant display of colors, a spectacle that drew the eyes of many to the heavens. It was a day of celebration, a skydiving event that brought together thrill-seekers and spectators from near and far. The air was filled with excitement and anticipation, the crowd awash in the thrill of the upcoming spectacle. The skydivers, decked out in their brightly colored gear, were the stars of the day, their every move watched with bated breath. They were the daredevils, the ones who dared to leap from the safety of an airplane and soar through the air with nothing but a parachute between them and the ground below. The crowd cheered as each one took their turn, their parachutes blossoming like bright flowers against the clear blue sky. But as the day wore on, the mood shifted. What began as a day of joy and celebration took an unexpected turn, plunging into chaos and confusion. The crowd watched in stunned silence as one by one, the parachutes failed to open. The once vibrant spectacle turned into a tragic nightmare. The skydivers plummeting towards the water with alarming speed. The shock was palpable. The disbelief stark. How could a day filled with so much promise and joy turn into such a nightmare? How could something so meticulously planned and executed go so horribly wrong? These questions echoed in the minds of those present, their joy replaced by a sense of impending doom. The 1967 Lake Erie skydiving disaster is a haunting reminder of how quickly a perfect day can turn into a nightmare. It's a story of joy turned to tragedy, of a spectacle turned disaster, of lives forever changed in the blink of an eye. Yet it's also a story that raises many questions, questions that remain unanswered to this day. But what exactly happened on that fateful day? Let's dive into the history. The morning of September 3, 1967 started like any other, but it was anything but ordinary. The day was ripe with anticipation, as a palpable sense of excitement hung in the air. A group of skydiving enthusiasts had gathered, ready to take on the skies over Lake Erie, their hearts pumping with adrenaline, their minds focused on the thrill awaiting them. The weather was picture perfect, the sky an endless expanse of azure, punctuated by tufts of white. Birds floated lazily on the wind, an image of serenity that stood in stark contrast to the high-octane adventure that was about to unfold. One by one, the skydivers climbed into the plane, each carrying a unique mix of anticipation and nerves. As the plane ascended, they exchanged confident nods, their faces masked with an exhilarating blend of fear and excitement. The first few jumps were executed flawlessly, their parachutes blooming like exotic flowers against the clear blue sky. The scene was breathtaking, a testament to the human spirit's desire for adventure and exploration. However, as the day progressed, an undercurrent of unease started to creep in. An unexpected gust of wind, a parachute that opened a second too late, a skydiver veering off course, small incidents that seemed insignificant at the time, but were harbingers of the disaster to come. As the last group prepared to make their jump, the atmosphere was tense. The sky, once a welcoming canvas of blue, now seemed to hold an ominous threat. Unbeknownst to them, they were about to plunge into a maelstrom that would change their lives forever. In the blink of an eye, their world was turned upside down. The skydivers, who had been floating on a cloud of adrenaline-fueled euphoria, suddenly found themselves in a nightmare scenario. Their day of thrill and excitement was about to turn into a day of horror and tragedy. But little did they know, the worst was yet to come. A sudden gust of wind, a failed parachute and a dive that was supposed to be fun became a nightmare. Imagine the scene, a once jovial atmosphere now filled with dread and disbelief. The shockwave that followed the 1967 Lake Erie skydiving disaster reverberated far beyond the immediate vicinity of the tragedy. In the immediate aftermath, the scene was one of utter chaos and confusion. Rescue efforts were launched in earnest, with local authorities and bystanders alike diving headfirst into the task at hand. The lake, once a symbol of joy and adventure, transformed into a somber rescue site. Every passing second was crucial, the difference between life and death. The shock experienced by the witnesses and participants was tangible. Skydivers who had just moments ago been excitedly preparing for their own jumps, were now rooted to the spot, their faces pale and their hearts heavy. The thrill of the dive had been replaced by a chilling fear, the echo of laughter drowned out by the shrill sirens of incoming emergency vehicles. But amidst this turmoil, there was unity. The community came together, their collective strength shining through the darkness of the tragedy. 
neighbors comforted each other, strangers offered help, and a bond was formed in the crucible of shared grief and horror. The human spirit, resilient in the face of adversity, refused to be crushed. As the sun set on that fateful day, the reality of the disaster began to sink in. The joyous anticipation of the morning had given way to a night of mourning. The faces of those lost were etched in the minds of the survivors, their smiles frozen in time, their laughter echoing in the silence. In the face of the disaster a community was left grappling with loss and unanswered questions. The aftermath of the 1967 Lake Erie skydiving disaster was a tumultuous period of grief, confusion, and resilience. It was a time of sorrow but also a time of unity, a testament to the indomitable human spirit that rises above even the darkest of tragedies. What went wrong? This question haunted the investigators as they delved into the details. As they sifted through the aftermath of the Lake Erie skydiving disaster, they were faced with a daunting task. The answers were not readily apparent, and the investigators had to piece together the puzzle from the fragments they had. The investigation was thorough and painstaking. It encompassed interviews with the survivors, analysis of the equipment used, weather reports from that fateful day, and a deep dive into the procedures followed by the skydiving company. It was a race against time, as they worked to prevent such a catastrophe from happening again. The findings were a chilling testament to how a series of seemingly insignificant decisions could culminate in disaster. The primary cause was identified as a failure in the parachute deployment system. A minor design flaw, overlooked during the manufacturing process, had resulted in a tragic malfunction. But the story did not end there. The investigation also revealed that the skydiving company had not adhered strictly to safety guidelines. Training protocols were found lacking, and the weather conditions on the day of the dive were less than ideal. The reactions to these revelations were varied. There was shock, anger, and disbelief. Many questioned how such oversights could have been allowed to occur. The skydiving company faced severe criticism and legal actions. The survivors grappled with a mixture of relief and guilt, relieved to be alive but guilt-ridden for those who were not as fortunate. Yet amid the tragedy, there was also a glimmer of hope. The disaster sparked a wave of reforms in the skydiving industry. Safety standards were reviewed and revamped, training protocols were strengthened, manufacturers were held accountable for their products. The tragedy served as a harsh reminder of the risks involved in skydiving, but it also catalyzed significant changes to ensure those risks were minimized in the future. The investigation revealed a series of unfortunate events and decisions that led to the disaster. But from the ashes of this calamity, a stronger, safer skydiving industry emerged, forever imprinted with the lessons of the Lake Erie disaster. The 1967 Lake Erie skydiving disaster was a painful lesson in the unpredictability of life and the importance of safety measures. In the face of tragedy, it is human nature to seek understanding, to glean wisdom from the ashes, and to ensure that those who were lost did not die in vain. The disaster that unfolded on that fateful day led to a significant shift in the world of skydiving. It spurred a wave of introspection within the skydiving community, prompting a re-evaluation of safety protocols and procedures. It was a harsh wake-up call, a stark reminder that even as we soar in the skies, we are not invincible. In the aftermath, governing bodies and skydiving schools worldwide began to place a renewed emphasis on safety. Regulations tightened, equipment improved, and training programs became more rigorous. The tragedy served as a catalyst for change, propelling the sport into a new era of heightened safety awareness and precaution. Perhaps the most potent lesson drawn from the Lake Erie disaster is the importance of preparation. It reinforced the need for thorough planning and meticulous attention to detail, from equipment checks to weather assessments. It underscored the significance of safety briefings and emergency drills, of familiarizing oneself with the jump site, and understanding the potential risks involved. Moreover, the disaster highlighted the importance of mental preparedness, of maintaining a clear head in the face of danger. It reminded us that while skydiving is a sport of exhilaration and thrill, it also demands a deep respect for the forces of nature and the inherent risks involved. The Lake Erie skydiving disaster, while a dark chapter in the history of the sport, has ultimately made skydiving safer. It has underscored that the pursuit of thrill should never compromise safety. The echoes of that fateful day continued to reverberate, reminding every skydiver of the importance of caution and respect for the elements. 
The disaster serves as a stark reminder of the risks of adventure sports and the importance of preparation, caution, and respect for the forces of nature.